Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Vivo Active 4 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your audio files to your Vivo Active 4 and then how to access them and listen to them when you get them downloaded. So the audio that you upload to your Vivo Active 4 can be anything from music, podcast, audiobooks, really any type of audio will work and the watch is compatible with several different types of audio formats. Now to upload music to your Vivo Active 4, you will need to have a computer. So that's gonna be either a MacBook or a Windows computer. And that's required because you'll need to download and install the Garmin Connect app on your computer. So we'll go through those steps as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is get our cable that we use to charge the Vivo Active 4 and then go to our computer and go ahead and download the Garmin Connect app. All right, so once you're on your computer, what you need to do is go to your web browser and go to garmin.com slash express. And by the way, check the description. If you get lost, I'll have a detailed write-up as well as all the links that I talk about in this video. So once you're there, if you're on a Mac, select download for Mac. If you're on a Windows computer, select download for Windows. So I'm gonna select that. And just for informational purposes, it is 112 megabytes. Go ahead and save it. Once you've downloaded Garmin Express, go ahead and begin the installation process. Once the installation is complete, select Launch Garmin Express, and that will open up the Garmin Express app on our computer. Now what we need to do is select Add a Device. Once this comes up, we need to plug the charging cable into our computer, and then plug the cable into your watch. Might take it a second, but it will find it in the app. Right here, and then we can select Add Device. Once we've added the device, we just need to sign into our Garmin Connect account and then go through the steps to add the watch to Garmin Express on your computer. The first thing it'll do is perform an initial sync with the device. All right, so now we're in the Garmin Express app. Real quick, if you were trying to update your watch and it's not working with your phone, this is also another way you can do that. I find that it works a little bit better to download those updates because they are so large. So you can do that right here. Once we're in here, we just want to select music. And as you see at the top here, you have two different options. You have My Music, which is going to be any files that you add to your Vivo Active 4. So this does include the audiobooks and podcasts, things like that. But you also have music apps where you can connect different things like Deezer, Spotify, Amazon Music. That's where you would handle this as well. We're going to select My Music. And then as you can see, there are two different areas right here. So at the top, you have My Music, and this is going to be the files on your computer. And then at the bottom, you have Vivo Active 4. That's your watch. This is the file directory for your watch. So if you have any files, you'll see them down here. The first thing we need to do to add the music from our computer is simply select the folder with the plus symbol right here. And right here, as you can see, these are all the file formats that are compatible with the Vivo Active 4. So you have a good selection there. All right, now all we need to do is find the location of the audio files on our computer. So really the folder containing those files. Once you find the folder, simply select next to it and then you're ready to go. You can select save, it'll scan that folder, and then any files that are compatible with your Vivo Active 4 will be brought into this list right here. So you can go over down to songs, you can, you can see all the different audio files that it found. Now while you're doing this, if you add more files or a playlist file to that folder that you selected, you can refresh it by simply going up to the question mark right here, and then going to refresh library. So now when I go to playlist, you'll see that I have a playlist. If you're interested in creating a playlist for your Vivo Active 4 or any other Garmin watch, check the description because I will have a tutorial covering how to do that. All right, so now all we need to do is select the files from that folder that we want to upload to our Vivo Active 4. So you can select all of them by selecting this little checkbox next to name, but it brought in a couple video files I don't want to upload to the watch, so I'm just going to uncheck those, and then we're ready to go. Now all I need to do is select send device. Before I do that, just want to point out a little bit of information on the bottom. As you can see, it does show the capacity of the watch, which is 3.7 gigabytes. So really, they say 500 songs, but it's really 3.7 gigabytes of music that you can upload. We start out with 3.5 gigabytes free. All right, so I'm just gonna select send a device. I'm sending 11 audio files. As you can see, it takes about a minute, so it's not that long. Once it says transfer complete, you're done, and they're on your watch. Now, if you wanna modify or just see what songs you have, on your watch, you just go down to the bottom here, you can select the different things. So you can see all the songs, you can see the playlist, all that information. And if for some reason you wanna delete one of these songs or anything, you just select it and then go to remove from device. That'll delete it and it'll open up more room on your watch for other songs or audio files. 
All right, so now we have the songs on our Vivo Active 4. So to quickly access them, we can simply scroll until we see the music widget. So you can play them here and kind of control them. But I do recommend first going to the music settings and we'll get there by holding down the bottom right button near the four o'clock symbol. So hold that down. It'll open up the settings. We can scroll down until we see the gear. And once, the ge once we're in the gear in the settings, we simply scroll down until we see music, select that. And the first thing we need to do is go to music providers and make sure we have my music selected. So in here we can quickly play all the songs. We could see the artist right here. We can also see it by album. We can see all the songs and then you can even see your playlist. So go ahead and select a song. I'll get it playing. And then as you can see, it is now playing on my headphones. You will have to have a pair of Bluetooth headphones connected to your watch to actually listen to any music you have on your Vivo Active 4. If you're not sure how to do that, check the description because I do have a tutorial covering that as well. All right, so that's how you upload audio files such as music, podcasts, and audiobooks to your Vivo Active 4. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin Vivo Active 4 tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.